What's up guys, Ricky back with you on this lovely Saturday. We have a quote today from a Anglican clergyman named William uh, Gamal, I believe his last name is. And he says this, how can there be great faith where there is little faithfulness? How can there be great faith where there is little faithfulness? I think this is a challenging quote because again, it talks a little bit what I mentioned yesterday about faith being the first step, faithfulness being every other step. And so if you had the faith to take the first step, but you don't continue on, um, then how great was that faith is kind of the point that he's making here. And, uh, I, you know, let's make it relevant and, and think about your own lives. You know, I want you to think about a situation uh, where it required a lot of faith. Maybe it was a big move. Maybe it was a career change. Maybe it was uh, ending a relationship, starting a relationship. Um, maybe it was uh, deciding to stay home with uh, your kids or change their schools. You know, whatever it is that you felt like took a huge step of faith. Maybe it was reaching out and telling someone about Jesus for the first time. Um, whatever it was that took, you know, a significant first step of faith. Um, if that situation, if you think about that situation and, and the outcome uh, and the process that turned out well in your mind, um, what you'll find is that it wasn't just that first step, but all of the steps after that, or all of the steps coming out of that, that came, uh, that followed through the original step. And, and that's the point that he's making is that faith is just, you know, the, the gateway to faithfulness. And so apart from taking a step of faith and then continuing in faithfulness, we've not, it's, they're, they're two sides of the same coin. They go hand in hand. You can't have great faith without great faithfulness, and you can't have great faithfulness without a, a great step of faith. And so these two things go together. And so I don't know what you're up against. I don't know what you're experiencing in your life today. Uh, but I do want to encourage you. Um, you may be facing a faith dilemma right in this very moment. And I want you to know that on the other side of this faith dilemma, it doesn't mean things, once you take that step, it doesn't mean things get easier because you have to continue on in that way. But know that God's going to honor that and know that God is going to grow you through it uh, and that you'll be better off for it. So have a great day, guys, and we'll see you guys here tomorrow on Everyday Faith.